This is part three of modeling the tiny house scene. And uh, we're going to uh, carry on here. Real quick, let's uh, do something for the doorway. I'm gonna copy that, bring it up. And uh, let's just scale this in. Extrude it up. I'm going to control L, scale shift Z. And look at positioning this. Now I still got it attached to the banister here or the railing or whatever. But that's okay. Yeah, I think I'll break it out. Grab that piece, pull it up, okay, select it all, bring it in. Okay, I'm going to go into edit mode for that. Actually, shift H, I'm going to go to edit mode on that. Take the top and the bottom, and we'll get rid of those. Alt H to bring everything back. That's similar to this piece here. And that one there, so. Looks to be about where I would need to put it. I could get rid of the back as well. And so I think I'll do that. Take the front end and move it out a little bit more. And all right, we got that. We'll see if there's more that I want to do with the door later. Okay, let's move down to the garage area and uh, make that piece there. So I'm going to bring in an edge loop. And where do I want to have that? I don't want it too high up. I'll put it around there. And um, I want a little bit of the wall here. And a bit more on that side. So um, what I'm going to do, I think... So I don't want to throw another edge loop that goes up there, I don't think, and start moving that. So I'm going to just pull that over like that. Okay. And I'm going to just pull that over as well. I want more room on that side. It may look kind of ugly. Actually, it's not going to go that far. Like that. Not when I'm going to pull that way. And it's not very nice. But at this point, I'm actually going to come under here. And we are going to get rid of those bottom faces. And we're going to do the same under here. faces and I'm going to take these edges and I'm going to shift D and bring them out P break them out so I got that I'm going to go in and press 1 and I'm going to get rid of that dissolve for disease 
I'm gonna go V and Alt S. I'm gonna pull. sort of a frame there. I'm going to select it and set the origin of geometry. Cursor is selected. And before I do anything else, do I want to put an edge loop in there? Grab those, shift alt and click. E and alt s. And bring it in a little ways like that. I think I probably do. And then I'm going to bring in a plane. Rotate X90. scale this in the Z so I make these narrower and they pull in but I'm going to switch over to uh, individual origins and then go SZ and that'll pull each of them independently that may be too much so let's pull them out a bit let's try that and then let's take this and then click on this and control L modifiers to put the bevel on there. Still looks too much. So um, let's see if I can knock this back to two. Maybe that is what I'm going for more. I don't know if I wanted to do that. I just thought it would look cool. All right. Okay. Save that. Let's make... I mean, that's different, but... Let's make these little trash cans. All right. My 3D cursor's there. That's fine. Let's just bring in another plane. And scale it down and move it out. Yeah. That's okay right there. Yeah. Let's hit E to extrude, bring it up, and scale it. Let's grab the whole thing, scale shift Z. It's going to come up to about two thirds of the way. So we got that. And face selection, let's uh, hit uh, E and S. E, come up. 
B and S come in, B and come up a bit. Just like that. Select the door and control L modifiers to do that. And that's all it is really. Let's select that object and bring the cursor there. Shift S, cursor is selected. 3D cursor is there, so my next object will come in right there, which is pretty close. What I really want to actually press 2 to go into edge selection, select that edge. I want to put a wheel close to the bottom, so might as well put it right there. Shift S, cursor selected. Bring my 3D cursor right there. And let's now bring in a circle. Let's go with 18 is about the smallest I would want to go because I'll put a subdivision surface on this probably. Let's go to edit mode and scale it down. And let's rotate X90. Bring it out and we'll scale it some more. And look from the front. And I'm going to position it back here. Let's just have a look at how they position that. A little bit past the edge there. Okay. Let's go with that for now. All right, and I'm going to hit E to extrude and then bring it back to give it some thickness. And then I'm going to go E and S to scale it in a bit. And then I'm going to fill that hole by going face, grid fill, and I'm going to choose just two. And I'm going to do the same over here. Shift Alt and click that edge, E and S, face, grid fill. I'm going to choose two. And then I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge, the two edges. And control B, pull. I'm just going to give one segment. And deselect, go back in object mode and go control 1. Right click, shade smooth, and that should be good enough. Let's set the origin of geometry on this. Bring it in. And you know what? I think I might want it thicker. I'm going to scale this in the Y. Make it a bit wider and pull it out a bit. That's probably okay. I'm just going to take it and copy it shifty and bring it over. Let's look from the front. I think I need to select all of this. Look from the front and I'll pull it up. So it looks like it's sort of resting on the ground. Now, maybe the trash can has to go lower, actually, on those wheels. Okay, so I would have one there. Select those. I'll move this one out. And Shift-T, I'll just copy it, make another one. And is that how they go? This one's close to the wall. Maybe out a little bit. And then this one will put closer. Let's throw on the uh, cavity shader. Very nice. And this is what we have so far. So we'll see if there's a little bit more work to do uh, on the house. There, I mean, we've got this little lamp to make. We can do that pretty quickly. Um, I guess it's a lamp. These wires, the car, the sidewalk, the street. You can see that this house has a different um, overhang, whatever that thing's called. So if we wanted to, we could just quickly grab, uh, say, this plane, shift D, pull it out, scale it a bit bigger, break it out. Maybe we'll just take this and inset. Extrude it down. Get rid of that face though. And grab those edges Look from the front. And bring it down roughly the street view. And maybe go 
want it bigger, I don't know. And lower. Let's do it about, well, from about where the post attaches, maybe. So, yeah, mine's a little bit different than the diagrams, so. Um, we could, we could think about that, though. Let's do this. Let's move this over here. So I get some sense of perspective. Just over there. This thing here. Cool. Okay. Let's uh, come back when we uh, have a few more things to do. And we'll, uh, yeah, put together this little this little scene. 